Hi Toby, my name is Gwendolyn. I'm going to be looking at your essay today on international marketing. Uh, thank you so much for getting the single essay check. Really great to see that you are interested in improving your English writing and more importantly getting some feedback on the areas that you need to focus on to get that consistent 7.0 or higher that you want on the IELTS exam. Great that you've come to us uh, with so much time or it's actually the perfect amount of time to be able to get you through the course um, and get you prepared and ready for your exam on the 21st of May. Um, so great uh, that you've come to us uh, with plenty of time to, to help you. It's really good to see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and look at your essay. I'm sure you're fully aware of the marking criteria for the for the writing part of the exam, but I'm going to kind of go through it and talk to you in each of those four sections about where I thought you did really good and then where I think we could help you improve um, to ensure that you get at least a 7.0, if not higher, when you take your exam on the 21st of May. So having read, read through what you've written, when we talk about uh, the first criteria of coherence and cohesion, I thought you wrote a very good essay. I could follow your, your train of thought. Um, it was uh, easy for me to read in that respect. So I thought you did a good job with coherence and cohesion. Um, usually very closely tied with that. Depends on how well you do on your grammar and your sentence structure, which is the other um, a second component of the marking criteria. Um, clearly that was also very good or otherwise I would have struggled to read it. There were some occasions when you left out some punctuation, so I'll alert you to that and make you aware of when you need to include that. Um, so that's something we can improve on a little bit. It's not um, a big issue for you, but there can be a little bit of improvement there, which you could just gain through some feedback, I think, in practice. Um, lexical resource, so your level of vocabulary. Yeah. Um, I think everyone, even myself, who's a native English speaker, there's always areas we can improve on that. I felt that you had a good range, always something we can improve on it, um, but you did use some complex vocabulary. You didn't repeat too many words very often, so that was good to see. Um, but obviously, because you are a good writer, that is an area maybe we can increase a little bit more. You can get a few extra points there, because you're good at it already, and that might help boost your score and cover up the areas that you're not so good in. Which leads me to the last point, which is the task response. So here in this particular essay, I feel that that would have been where you've lost, would have lost most of your points if you were doing this in an actual examination situation. So um, you've talked here a bit more about cross-border trading, so international trading, which is different than international marketing. So if you Google those two, international marketing is about the um, promotion and advertising of goods and services into a foreign country. So here I would have wanted you to talk about um, that specific, and you've talked about more about trading. That said, even with what you've talked about on trading, there were two parts of the question you needed to talk about, um, which I didn't feel you answered even when you were talking about it as international trading. So we need to talk about one side, is um, is international marketing seen as invasive and intrusive to a country? Um, your, the, your P1, you were talking about more about the economic necessity of having cross-border trading, not really talking about whether it's seen as intrusive or invasive. And then the other part of the question, which you should have been talking about, was um, does international marketing help spread the uh, ideas, culture, and languages? Which again, you didn't really talk about. You talked about how um, increasing um, drug trafficking, which is, is not very good. So on three aspects, on all the aspects of the task response, you didn't really answer any of those questions. But you know, that's okay. This is a very challenging essay. Um, but also more importantly, just to let you know, um, should you decide to take the sentence guide course, uh, it goes through a very short sort of 15 minute podcast on how to generate 
good ideas that relate to the task response specifically and come up with academic sounding examples to relate to those. Um, I think once you go through that tutorial and then do that practice, it'll become much easier for you to make sure that you answer the task response and get full marks on that fourth marking criteria, which is where you've really um, lost some point, would have lost some points here. Uh, the other overall thing I wanted to say was that you've written 350 words. So this is 100 words over what you need um, what you need for the exam. So, um, you know, that's something definitely we can help you with. And I think the formula that is in the sentence guide course that shows you how to structure your paragraphs and what sentences to put in each paragraph will help you keep to that closer to that 250 word mark which is something that's really important because an exam learner will stop reading at around 275 words um, and if you haven't got within that 275 words um, answered the task response you're going to be losing some more points again in the task response area which um, we can't really be losing some silly points like that. So on the back of that, I will be reading this as, just as an exam learner would be, and I'm going to stop reading at 275 words. So let me find out where that is. Yeah, so it's basically kind of what's on the screen here. So I won't read your conclusion, and I'll try to get through the full of your um, P2 paragraph. Right, so let's go ahead and read it. Uh, and I can give you some areas specifically where we need to improve the... Um, grammar and the sentence structure, then also gives you more of a feel of how I will correct your essays should you come on to the um, sentence guide course. Some countries perceive cross-border training as an unwelcome activity, while others are of the view that it is pertinent to improving a country's economy. Good, good vocabulary there, um, Toby, well done with that. I believe that the pros of cross-border marketing outweigh the cons, as there will always be a, we need our article there, be a need to acquire resources from other countries. This essay will point out these pros and cons and its effect on the economy. Full stop. Good. I thought your structure of your introduction was perfect. You made an attempt to address the task response. You gave your point of view and you had a nice summarizing um, essay there, exactly as we would like to have seen it, um, uh, the examiner would like to have seen it. So well done with that. So let's look at your P1. Great to see here this transitional phrase. Um, we've forgotten a word there, so it should be on the on the one hand. So on the one hand um, to make that correct. But great that you've tried to use that. Cross border marketing is vital to the growth of many economies around the world. This is because the needs of most countries are similar. Comma. You usually, always have a comma before but so similar, but. They do not have all the resources to meet them. So here I would take um, this phrase out. They need to be supplied by other countries. That's kind of implied by, by you saying that they don't have all the necessary resources to meet them. Um, so we don't need to be explicit with that information. And we need to kind of reduce your word count. So that's one way we could reduce a section of words. For instance, chocolate is a popular dessert in America. Good, you've used the punctuation before but correctly there. But the country vegetation cannot grow cocoa, uh, the, major, uh, the major raw materials for chocolate. Um, again here, I, you know, it's an academic essay. I don't feel that most people know that cocoa is um, the major material in chocolate. Um, so we could get out that phrasing. Um, in this particular essay because we need to lose some word count so that would lose some words there if we could could do that and still keep the meaning. They thus have to import this from, uh, from other West African, other I think we just need to say West African countries, thus they need to have to import this from West African countries such as the Ivory Coast and Nigeria. Another advantage of international marketing is the improvement it brings to the economy of the host country. For instance, the Western host country. Uh, full stop, and then I would start a new sentence because otherwise you kind of have a joining two sentences uh, with a comma. 
If there are two complete sentences, you can only join them with a semicolon. <clears throat> For instance, the Western world has been seen to invest more in developing countries. This has brought about increase in revenue for the investor and economic development for those countries. This shows that international marketing has its advantages, plural. The other thing I would say here is, and what we would teach you on the course, Toby, is to stick to one idea per paragraph. You've got two ideas there, um, which is fine if you had a longer time to write and you have more word count. But if you only got 250, so stick to one word, one idea per essay. Back that up with a good example and summarize it. We show you how to do that on the course. <clears throat> on the other hand, good, good transitional phrase. You've used that correctly. International marketing, that would be a lowercase i, has brought about unwanted and dangerous merchandise. Has brought about uh, that phrase. I think taking out the about would make it more clear. Has brought unwanted and dangerous merchandise into other countries. Economies of some countries have experienced a downturn brought by trading with other countries. Okay, we're talking about two different, you know, I feel like you've got two different ideas here. You're talking about how international uh, international marketing has, has brought unwanted dangerous goods, and then you're talking about the economy. So you've got two ideas there right next to each other. You should really only be talking about one. So, I mean, I, I don't see how this particular sentence relates to the rest of your um, paragraph there, so I would take that out. An example of this is the level of harmful drugs such as cocaine and heroin. Harmful drugs, comma, such as cocaine and heroin, comma, brought into the United States of America. Um, here you could have just put brought into the USA, which would have saved you three words. By countries like Brazil and Colombia. Uh, I think that's, what's your spelling of Colombia? Check that, I think it's with an O. C-O-L-O-M-B-I-A. As well as the high level of unregistered guns being transferred into Nigeria. The cost of reducing the spread of these harmful drugs and recovering these guns. So yeah, we've, you've again added two complete sentences together with a comma, which can't be done. We need to do a semicolon, but I think because they're separate ideas, I would do a full stop here and create a new sentence. The cost of reducing the spread of these harmful drugs and recovering these guns has negatively impacted the economy of these countries. These points go to show that international marketing comes with its downside. Good. Um, so, Toby, I think, you know, to get you to that 7.0, there's uh, three main things we need to work on. We need to work on getting your word count to closer to 250 words. We need to work on making sure that your task response is relevant to, or that your essay ideas and examples are relevant to the task response, that you answer the task response questions, and that you keep to one idea per paragraph. And, uh, you know, this is the main premise, of actually, of the Sentence Guide course, is how to structure your essay um, and what sentences to put in there, how to generate those ideas, how to generate the examples, um, and do that very quickly. Have a look um, at the videos, the other videos about the course. Uh, let Ben or I know if you've got any questions. Um, I think, you know, definitely we could um, get you improved um, on the course um, and there's a money-back guarantee so if you don't get the 7.0 after completing the course and taking the exam on the 21st of May we would refund your money so um, really no nothing to lose really by joining the course okay uh, that's all I've got for now I hope you found the feedback helpful um, hopefully we'll see you on the course soon all right bye Toby